Hello there everyone, it's Lydia here and welcome to my crafty corner once again. So today I thought we'd do a little bit of rapping, so not the in the musical sense because nobody wants to hear that, but we'll be doing a little bit of stamped gift wrap. So this is a great way to personalise your presents if you wanted to wrap them and didn't want to do it in a gift bag. Also you can stamp up some cards and envelopes that all match together which would be really, really pretty. So to start with I've got a little bit of drawing paper, so these this is the one that like comes on a roll. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap that around my little gift. So someone's getting some um, alcohol markers this Christmas, which would everyone would be happy with. And I've just cut that to size. I'm going to be using the Winter Rose from Alta New to stamp my gift paper. And I'm also going to be using Blush, Crimson and Rouge. No, not Rouge. Um, velvet. I was going to use the rouge but I decided I wanted to do it a little bit lighter so I've used the blush this time. I'm also going to be using forest glades and also evergreen. So I'm adding all the base layers to my blocks. I've done it all, I've added them all to different blocks because this is going to make the stamping so much quicker. So I've just added them all to the blocks and I'm going to be stamping my base flowers in the blush colour and then I'm going to be doing the leaves a little bit differently. So first I'm going to stamp these up so you can see that I'm just placing them into a little like bouquet kind of look, a posy. And then I'm going to stamp my leaves. So I have both of the leaves on the blocks because I'm going to be using both of them. First I'm going to ink it up using the forest glades and I'm then going to rock and roll the top parts of the stamp in the evergreen. So this is going to give me a two-toned effect on the leaves which is very very pretty and also very quick. So maybe you have leaves that have only got one layer you could definitely do this just to give them a different bit of a look. So once I've got the posy how I want it I'm then going to stamp the same posy all the way over this drawing paper. So I do have this drawing paper to fit my gift. You could do a whole load if you wanted to, but I didn't want to waste any of my stamping time, so I just trimmed it so it was the right size for my gift so I could just stamp this pit. As you can see, I'm kind of working out how to do it by placing the stamp over the image that I've already stamped and then moving it either up or across the paper just to give me a more of a uh, kind of spaced look. So they're all kind of the same. They're not perfect. Um, I don't expect anyone's expecting perfect wrapping paper, but it's, it's, it's there, it's good, it's good to go. So as you can see, I've done the whole sheet of the paper and you are gonna want to stamp over the edges so it looks like it was a continuous piece. The first layer is the most time consuming, I would say. But once you've got those images down in place, it's so much easier to get to the second and third and fourth layers on the flowers. So I'm using the crimson for the second layer of these flowers. And I just love how these look on this paper. It looks so, so pretty. And I know that the someone that's going to get the gift is going to think that it's, you know, it might be a little bit too pretty to unwrap. But I'm hoping not because the markers are amazing. So I've added my second layer to the flowers. As you can see, I did add both of the layers to the block. So it's it's easier, it take, takes a little bit less time just to stamp them on. So the third layer, I have used the velvet. And now I'm adding the second flower in. And then I'll be adding the black layers in. So I'm using permanent black for this. And this is just like a little doodle center to the flowers. So it's not a full flower, it's kind of a doodle flower and it's really pretty. For a little bit of added bling, I've added a little bit of gold spray, just sprinkled that all over. For the tag, I'm using one from Handmade Tags Dyes and I'm using my little mini blossom die cutting machine. This is so cute and I love that I can keep it on my desk all of the time because it doesn't take up too much room. So I've just added this onto a piece of white cardstock, the die made my little sandwich and I'm just running this through my machine. It's such a quick and easy machine because you don't need to run through the whole load of plastic. It's just this tiny little piece and it is so sweet and it cuts perfectly. So I have my die, my tag, sorry, cut from the die 
And I'm just gonna add one of the flowers onto this. I'm using the same combination of colors for this one. So I've used the blush for the base layer. I'm then gonna use the crimson. You can see that my stamp was a little bit dirty because I had used this to stamp over the edge of the paper. And then I'm gonna use the velvet for the third layer. It's very pretty. I just love this look. You can't actually see the blush on that, but it is. It's definitely, definitely there. I did stamp it down. Again, I'm using the permanent black for the fourth layer. Sorry about that. I'm going to add in some of the smaller leaves. So again, I've stamped them up using the forest glades, rock and rolled the outside of the leaves with the evergreen just to create that variegated look. I'm going to be using a sentiment from Happy Holidays to line this up. I've just popped it on my mat that's got a line on, made sure it was nice and straight and then added it to my block. So this is a way to keep it, you know, the integrity of the straight line. You could actually add this to a ruler if you wanted to, just to stamp this down. I'm going to be using some permanent black, just because I'm going to be using that gold spray again, just flicking it on, and I didn't want the black to warp anyway. So now I'm just going to wrap this present up, and I know you didn't want to see that, so I've done that off camera. Um, I've added a little bit of gold little ribbon it's like plastic ribbon the one that you can make the curly whirly twirls with once you do it with the the scissors and then I'm just tying my tag in so I just knotted it first onto the present then I'm knotting the tag in and then I'm going to tie my bow so this is very very easy to do uh, I just think it's a really great touch to add to a very special gift maybe you're giving something really really small and cute and you want to tie in all the cards, the tags, and the envelope all together to give a very, very special gift. So there is the stamped wrap done. So I really hope you've enjoyed this and do give the stamping technique a go. Maybe you are going to wrap a very, very special present this Christmas or holiday or whatever you celebrate. I really hope you do. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. There are more videos here if you'd like to watch them. Have a great day and goodbye.